Hello guys, welcome back, it's Illogical as always, and today we're going to be cavalrying the Banished Knight's Greatsword. Now, is this one unique? I don't know. We're going to find out here now, so we are. So guys, before we continue on, please like, share, and subscribe, and guys, let's get in. So, um, Stomp Uppercut comes with, um, again, you sh by this stage, you should already know what my feeling is on that specific weapon art. So you should, pure physical weapon, as expected. Uh, C in strength, D in dexterity, okay, interesting. 17 strength and 9 dexterity. Ooh, okay. So it definitely leans more on the strength category of things, so it does. That is just about granted. Now, on the 100 damage, we've got 575, and on the 200, we've got 622. This means that it is just, unfortunately, far superior to the Knight Straight Sword. That's a shame. But let's continue on anyway. How is it compared to everything else, actually? It's stronger than the Claymore, stronger than the Bastard Sword, and weaker than the Iron Great Sword. So the Iron Great Sword still holds the lead at the most powerful physical sword. So that's something to be said. We've got the Major Accord just in case somebody needs a nice little rib tickling. So we do. We've got the Sacred Album Eric Shield, mostly just for fashion, and parries. For our fashion, we've got Fingerprint Helm, Black Knife Armor, Dragon Ball Foam Gauntlets, as well as the Fire Prelate Greaves. That's our fashion for this build. We've got the Green Turtle Talisman for extra stamina regen, Bulgo Talisman for extra poise, Earth Tree Favor plus two for extra everything, and Crimson Armor Medallion plus two for extra health. Inside of our mixed physic, we've got obviously the HP Restore and the slightly restores HP over time. Obviously, we're not trying to boost our damage in any way, shape, or form just yet. So we're not. So let's go change up this Ash of War. Now, we had great fun with the Impaling Strike. Come here, B, B, and B, B. So, nothing special in terms of the scalings. Do we want to run Impaling Thrust? I'm sorry, I, I'm just loving Impaling Thrust here at the minute, guys. So, we'll go with it. And it, there's nothing specifically unique to any of the physical categories. So, nothing can be said there. As it says, this weapon does come out stronger than the Knight's Greatsword. So, let's see if it actually shows itself. Right, who's our first opponent? Okay, hello. I'm going to bow. You're a jumpy boy with the Dragon King's Craig Blade. Okay. You're a jumpy boy. Oh, that's a shame. Oof. Absolutely not. Oh, come on. I tickled his nose with that. Fuck! Cannot believe that happened. So I can't, I cannot actually believe that happened. That's right, the Craig Blade absorb it just drinks mana, so it does. It just drinks mana. Oh, dude! Hold up. Oh, dude! <laughs> GG! Ah! Ooh, Royal Greatsword, okay. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. How haven't seen this sword used since I used it. Now that's interesting to say the least. Ooh, no. Right, so he's a beefcake, and a weird one at that. Woohoo! Distance is always nice. 
Oh, I know. I walked into it. Oh, I tried to poise break him. I didn't expect him to go for the guard counter. I got killed by a guard counter, guys. What are you doing? You are a very regular player whenever it comes to me. I was right. You're also the chap that ran out of FT, dude. I forgot. You're the chap that ran out of FT against me. I remember. Getting straight into it, are we? See, the problem is he's just he's probably just going to try and keep me at a range. So he is. It's likely he's likely just gonna keep yeah, he's just gonna keep me at range, so he is. He's not having a rinse he's not having a repeat of last time, so he ain't. Ah fucked up. Ah oh, GG. Sir, I hope you, you have rejigged your build accordingly because again, you have no health. I think I three topped you in the last video. So this time I hope you have health. No, you do not. Now you know the main weakness to that weapon art. Happy? I went for it at least. Ah, uh, he's on low health. He's not gonna fight me for. He's not gonna fight. He's not gonna go super aggressive with low health. Oh, come on, dude. Really? I'm assuming you went for a different one there. But dude, for the love of God, please level your fucking vigor. Okay, let's bring her up to a quality build and see where we're sitting. Keep it. I will keep on piercing strike. It seems to be doing its job right now, so it does. So, what? Oh my god, it breaks 600 one handed. That, I think, is our first. 601 one handed. That's a first. That comes out on top of the greatsword. And it keeps its damage going straight in. Oh my god. Right, so it's a full damage increase on both sides, both one handed and two handed. The shocking point of it all is, is the fact that the iron greatsword still comes out on top two handed. The Iron Greatsword, I think, might just be the most powerful greatsword physically. Because if the Banish, I don't, well, no, there's one other sword that I have hopes for that might break it. But as it sits right now, the Banish Knight, great, the ba the Banish Knight Sword is very, very, on a quality build at least, is stronger than the Iron Greatsword. Well, kind of, because the Iron Greatsword on a quality build is actually weaker. Right, here we are against. Another mage, Dark Slider, using the Lazuli Sword Mage. Okay, this will be interesting. Magic damage increase as you do. Dual Swords. There's a Glintstone out anyway. I wonder, can I parry that? Oh, okay then. Oh, dude, level your vigor! A poise break, holy fuck. GG, sir. Shouldn't have went for the second swing. 
Oh, he's got a different setup this time. He's going safe. So he is. Okay. At least I'm intrigued. Up for so you're up for an all round, are you? Oh, okay. Oof. Oof. Oh, dude. Dude. There's getting bullied and then there's that. GG, sir. Oh. Right. Oh, it's a white mask with a halberd. Are you going to try and parry me today, sir? I have no... With Gravitas as well. Why? What? Is that on a... Right, now you've got me confused here, Myth. That's a weird setup. Hold fire. Why do you have a white mask on, dude? Ooh, he went for the party too. Right, come on, dude. You are so jittery. How about you just fight me and just call it a day? <laughs> Why, well, hello there, sir. Uh, five hours or something, I was like 45 minutes. Give or take. Yeah, okay. Love you, Tim, doing you say. I was distracted, sir. What is with the Dark Souls 1 backstabs, guys? That's hilarious! I know Dark Souls 1 backstab for the just for the win, like. Oh. Oh, the frost mist, okay. Dude, you've backed yourself in that corner here. Ah! <laughs> GG, sir! I got distracted at the start of the fight. The girlfriend was in with me and then that happens. God damn it! Why, hello there, sir. How are you doing? I shall bow. I'm bowing to be nice. Don't worry, I'm not going to smack you in the back. I'm not a bad manner. I'm not bad manners here. Ooh, okay. You went for the stomp. Oh, wow. Treasies. Huh. Oh, not a trade I wanted. Are you just trying to... You confuse me, sir. I love how nobody ever expects the R1s. GG, sir. Did you just try and backstab me? I love how nobody ever expects the R1s. Nobody ever expects the R1s. It is glorious. Against oh, he's not going to rematch this time. I'm assuming he's going to stick to his original setup. So um, I'm assuming he's going to stick to his original setup. Instead of trying to twist about. Spicy work. Pivot. Pivot. A pike, really? A pike. Oh, well done. Spinning, oh, okay, right, so now you've got spinning slash out. Okay. Oh, 
No. <laughs> he got double salty. Thumbs up, dude. Oh, I guess. Hello, sir. Magic skunky? Why, hello there. What do you have? That's a Nagi Kiba with faith. Okay. Alright, rock and roll then, sir. I can do that too, don't worry. Right, rock and roll. It's party hard. Lightning, okay. So some lightning shenanigans. Absolutely, fucking not me. So are you just gonna stick to faith, or are you gonna swing that sword? You're out. Of, you're out of FP. You're fucked. If that's all you can cast, you spent more time. Oh! <laughs> there is a savagery in this world that is unfounded. <laughs> Did you not learn from the first time, dude? <laughs> Did you not learn from the first time, dude? Oh, that tickled, that tickled too much. That tickled too much. Just, just too much tickling going on here. Oh. That tickled way too much. It, it, it just, dude. <laughs> that was the height of absolute cruelty. How are you doing? I'm going to bow to be nice. Is that a standard Uchi AC on a mage? Ah, uh, you find out a pocket moon build somewhere, so you do. You find out a pocket moon build. No health, though. Wow, okay, that just staggered me for no reason at all. Oh, Clayman's harpoon. Transies! <laughs> oh, dude! Right. Who's our last opponent? Hello, sir. I shall bow. <coughs> <coughs> You're also pre buff too. So, let's go. Right, Rock and Roll, sir. It's more the weapon art I want to see. Lack of health is another thing entirely, though. Oh! Guys, come on! You know the way that the nut code works. There's always a delay. Come on! Okay, guys, so how does the Banished Knight Sword perform? <laughs> Shockingly well, it's stronger than the Knight Sword. That's one thing that we have to give it. It is stronger than the Knight Sword, but it is weaker than the Iron Great Sword, and it lacks the same utility as the Claymore. As it says, the two big bangers right now are still the Claymore and the Iron Great Sword. The Claymore for its versatility and roll catching potential, and the Iron Great Sword for just raw damage. But the Banished Knight Sword is a nice addition to that category, so it is. It is a very powerful weapon, so it is. I will give it that. It is strong and fun to use, so it is. So, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, guys, I shall see you all in the next video. Mm, goodbye.